Well, I'm Bill Kennison. I'm the survivor of a survivor, which means I survived everything she went through, which sometimes is interesting, but that's who I am. My wife is going on a 10-year uh, survivor. Uh, I got involved with the men's support group nine years ago. A uh, few, few months after I got involved in it, the leader of the support group died. And so I kind of inherited this group. And uh, so I've been doing that for nine years. I felt like the reason I, I'm involved in the support group is I felt that uh, John West and uh, Breast Link and Cordelia Knot Center uh, saved my wife's life. So when we got near the end of, of the chemo and getting ready for surgery and all that, I told her then I'd like to give back uh, time in whatever way that, that they wanted. Uh, Dr. West talked to me and thought I was so personable that he said, uh, you know, we'd like for you to get in the men's support group. So I said, uh, fine, and then like I said, the gentleman that had started it actually passed away in just a few months. So all of a sudden I had this, this support group and uh, I've enjoyed it for nine years. Sounds weird, but I, I've enjoyed doing it. Could you tell us a little bit more about the support group and what that is? The support group is made up of uh, basically husbands of wives that are going through breast cancer or boyfriends or partners, whatever the case might be. Uh, my situation was when my wife was battling uh, breast cancer and going through all the, the chemo and the therapy and, and all that, uh, it, was, it, was, it was very difficult for me because I had always been the type of person that took care of my family. I raised my three brothers. Uh, my brother was the comedian Sam Kennison. I was his manager. I was always, you know, getting him out of trouble and everything else. And that's what my life was about. I was a minister. I had been a minister for 17 years and just helping people. Well, all of a sudden, I think for, for probably the first time in my life, I'm facing a situation I have no control over. I have no control over if she's going to survive I have no control over how she's going to handle anything she's going through. And uh, for me personally, that made it very, very difficult. Very difficult. And I, th and I think most men feel that way because you're supposed to protect your family. Your family is supposed to be able to depend on you. You're supposed to take care of your family. Now you have probably the closest person to you in your life that's facing a life-threatening disease, and there's nothing you can do except be a cheerleader. And so we, uh, I got involved with the support group. It's usually a two-session support group, two, uh, two evenings and two weeks. The first evening is to get everybody to open up, which uh, sometimes takes some work, get all the guys to open up. It's guys only, it's anonymous. Whatever they say in there stays in there. But to get them up and tell the story of uh, what they're going through or you know, what happened to their wife, how they got, you know, how they got to this point. Then the second week, we deal with your mental approach uh, and what you can do, you know, to help her. Uh, you know, women that are going through this, their mood swings are, are off the chart. One day, you know, I'd be there with my wife and waiting on her and helping her, and she'd tell me, you're, sm you're smothering me. So the next day, I'd be like, all right, well, I'll sit here and whatever she needs. Then it'd be like, well, don't you care? You know, you're just sitting there. Why don't you, why don't you help me? So I finally just went, I'll tell you what. Uh, I love you, I'll do whatever you want me to do, but you're going to have to tell me. I don't, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. And so we, do with, we deal with those uh, mental approach we do not. We do not deal with the medical advice on anything. I mean, they can say what they're going through, but we don't answer medical questions. Uh, we usually have a doctor, Dr. West or Dr. Link, uh, that come in and, and will answer those questions. Uh, that they have, but it, it, gives a, it gives a release for the guys that they're not out there by themselves. I mean, it's a very, very lonely, you know, you're, and I don't mean that you want the attention, but your wife is getting all this attention. She's getting all this therapy. She get, and you're sitting there watching the kids, wondering if she's going to live, wondering if she's going to be there to help raise her children and stuff, and that's very difficult. So that's, that's pretty much what our support group's based on.
Thank you. I think probably the biggest advice that that we give them is uh, is to try to keep a positive outlook. Uh, we don't push, you know, religion or religious things, but I believe in faith, and I tell them that that a lot of times when you exercise all the natural things you can do, every once in a while you get into an area that supernatural things happen, and uh, so our biggest advice is to have these men get mentally mentally approach it in a positive manner and not deal with it that they may be gone you know you deal with it like you're making it today you're going to make it tomorrow you're naked next week we're going to beat it and uh and over over 97 percent do and when i got there it was a lot lower than that i had nothing to do with it but i mean that's how much the uh cancer treatments and and uh, different things that they have done has helped and so that's the biggest advice we give them is the mental approach Thank you. Thank you, everyone.